This is the CG Solid SC530 higher level OBD2 scan tool. Let's take it out of the box. Inside the box is a case that holds everything complete with a go handle. In the case you get the user manual. They give you the USB cable for hooking it up to the computer. Note that it is USB to mini V connector, not micro. This cable connects from the scan tool, there's the port right there, to the OBD2 port on your car. And here's the tool itself. It has a couple of uh, F buttons there, yes and no, help button in the center, and up, down, left, right arrows, all that kind of stuff. So it looks like an ordinary scan tool, but it's not. This is a higher level scan tool. What that means is, this is going to have access to a lot of things that your typical $25 or $35 scan tool out there uh, is not going to have. A lot of people buy a scan tool, they find Brand X, we'll just call the manual Brand X. Brand X, $25, bucks, scan tool. Oh yeah, that'll fix my car right up. I need to bleed the brakes. I need to get into the system and reprogram a, a radio on my BMW or something. For $25? It's not happening. Brand X is not going to do it for $25. Bucks. You need a higher level scan tool to get into that. There is so much stuff, so much information that you're going to get out of a tool like this that you simply cannot get out of a plain Jane tool. Let's go ahead and take this out to the car. I'm going to kind of gloss over the basic stuff because this will do everything, of course, that the $25 scan tool will do. Now, like I said, we're going to gloss over a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, being that you're looking into buying a higher level scan tool, you're probably of a higher level of mind and know what you're looking for. So I'd expect that you'd be able to plug this into the OBD2 port on your vehicle. If you're going to ask whether or not it's going to work with your vehicle, it works with any OBD2 compliant vehicle. If you don't know that, you shouldn't be fixing your vehicle. It's that simple. Regardless, this can do everything that a $25 scan tool can do. We're going to start with the OBD2 option right there. It has an auto scan, so we'll do that. This way you can get the right protocol and communicate. This happens to be a Toyota, so we'll hit yes. And it shows that the MIL, or malfunction indicator light, colloquially known as the check engine light, is off. There's no codes. There are four monitors that are not applicable in this vehicle, seven that are, and incomplete zero so everything is good to go okay is f1 so we'll press that engine automatic transmission we'll choose engine and we can go to dtc right at the top there system pass no fault found it told us that already but just to give you the idea you can go into live data over here and we're going to choose a custom list. So you can take a look at your fuel system, engine coolant temperature, your short-term and long-term fuel trim, and there's pages and pages and pages of stuff. Engine RPM, vehicle speed sensor if you're driving, ignition timing, all that kind of stuff here. Any $25 scan tool is going to do everything right here. So that's not what we came for, but it has that just as a starting point. So you can start with that. We're gonna go back to the main menu and you'll notice something new there. This particular tool is specifically designed for Toyota vehicles. It didn't come out of the box that way. I hooked it up to the computer using the included cable and it was able to, after a quick software download, uh, install this onto the device and now we're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and select that, and now it's going to ask a bunch of questions about the vehicle, whether it has a smart key, uh, VSE, 
and a bunch of other things, and it's going to show the VIN. I'm going to gloss over that because you probably know how to do this kind of stuff. So after a short load, it comes up, and we're going to select Quick Scan. And take a look. Engine, ECT, cruise control, ABS VSC traction, tire pressure monitor, air conditioner, immobilizer, We have airbag, main body, accessory gateway, driver door motor, sliding roof, combination meter, smart key, occupant detection, a whole bunch of different stuff in here. So now, let's go in here and I want to show you some of the crazy stuff you can do. So just under engine alone, take a look at all of this. This says active tests. So you can go into these and have it actually test these components out. Control the injection volume. Control the injection volume for air fuel sensor. Activate the VSV for intake for EVAP. Control the fuel pump speed. Control the ACM inhibit. Connect the TC and TE1. I don't know what that is, but it can do it. Idle fuel cut prohibit. The electric cooling fan. Starter relay. Accessory cut relay. ETC open, close, slow speed and fast speed. Control the VVT, variable valve timing. Take a look at this stuff. This stuff in here that I, I don't even want to go into because I'm afraid it's going to, you know, I don't know that much of what I'm doing as far as that goes. But that's just one little tiny area. Let's keep delving into this. But you can see all of this stuff. And like I said, all of these options I just showed you it can do something. Now under the transmission, activate the solenoid, activate the lockup, control the shift position and the different solenoids that are there so you can control that kind of stuff. Again, I don't want to break anything on the car and everything is working so I have no reason to actually run any of these but I will show you some other stuff that we can have a little fun with. So ABS warning light can see here F1 and F2 will activate it. So here's the dashboard. Yes, I know it says low washer fluid. With the price of inflation now, a gallon of that is actually more than a gallon of gas, if you can believe that. So it's waiting. It, it's summer now, so I don't need it. But if we look just to the left of the check engine light, because the engine is not running right now, so that's why that's on. If I hit F2, you can turn on your ABS light and turn it off. How about on the other side to the right of the alternator light, the brake light? Turn it on, turn it off. Slip indicator light? You got it. And then it also has this other one, buzzer. That is not coming from the scan tool. That's coming from the car. I have never heard that before, ever. I don't know what that buzzer is. I have never heard it, but it goes. I don't even know where it's coming from. Apparently this car has that. I didn't even know. I don't know what it's for even, but it's there nonetheless. So let me show you some other stuff you can do. So take a look here, stoplight switch. So now it's gonna read stuff in the car. So if I step on the brake, the off changes to on parking brake switch put that on that changes to on take it off and it goes off and gear position park neutral if I go to reverse it shows R right there park neutral and drive so it can read and knows 
what the various sensors, switches, and stuff like that in the car are. Here's the TPMS right here. You'll notice we have some strange value in D3. And that's because that sensor is not working. So it shows a negative value, which is, of course, impossible. And I know that that sensor in that wheel is bad. So it is absolutely correct, correctly reporting it. It's also showing a value. Uh, the unit is KPA. That can be changed in the menu on here, of course, but this is just out of the box. And one of the tires is low, so I do have to check the pressure in that. And, of course, the one that's not reading, <laughs> I need to check all of them. But the rest are pretty close right there. So this can read your TPMS and do all kinds of stuff with that as well. This also has what I like to call the Nickelodeon function. That was a skit by comedian Gabriel Iglesias. He had a thing he did about Nickelodeon. You can look that up. It was kind of cute. And it's very similar to what I'm going to do now. Blower motor control. Blower motor speed level. Take a look. Take a look at the fan speed, it's showing. I'm controlling the blower motor from the scan tool. That's pretty impressive. How about the door locks? Okay, now a couple things you can do here. It tells you if the doors are locked or unlocked. If I want to lock it, I can press the button right on the scan tool. I'll even show you. Just like that, and unlock from the scan tool. So like I said, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'll show you another one. Now here's for the sunroof, and I'm telling it to read codes, and take a look. There is a code for position failure. I actually induced that code just to show you, but we can clear that, and that is something that you can't do on a $25 scan tool. It won't even get into this menu. It, it just doesn't exist. Do you want to erase the fault codes? Okay. And the codes have been cleared. Now it's reading codes, and we're good. But we can do more. This is for the sunroof. Okay. So this is to open the sunroof, and by pressing the button here, it'll tip it up and down and it'll also tell you like close switch if I go to close it so you can test switches you can activate motors actuators before it said engine starter relay uh, this is one of those push button start vehicles and I guarantee you if I would have hit that the engine would have started from the scan tool. You have limitless abilities with this scan tool. How about engine RPM? So right here, the engine is not running, okay? I can mash the gas pedal all I want. This engine is not running, but all I gotta do is press a button here, and look at that. You can rev your engine up without it even running. And of course, you can go back down as well. That's amazing. So like I said, huge amounts of control that you have. So once again, this was the CG Solid SC530 higher level OBD2 scan tool. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description to the manufacturer's website where you can find this item available for sale. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.